You see, praise exercises faith that there is a God, that he is sovereign, that heaven rules, that God has all things under his control, that he is always faithful, that he is always good, and that all is well and all will be well because God is on his throne. Praise says, I trust you, Lord, even when I can't see what you're doing. Praise acknowledges that God sees what we cannot see, that he knows what we don't know, that he understands all mysteries, and that he is always at work on behalf of those who love him and who are called according to his purposes. Praise gets that. And praise displaces murmuring and whining and complaining and arguing and pouting and being anxious and being fearful. You can't praise and do those other things at the same time. You can't worship and whine at the same time. If you're whining, you're not worshiping. If you're worshiping, you can't whine. So worship, praise, will displace all those other things that are not worthy of our great God. When we praise him, we can breathe in the midst of complex or difficult circumstances. We don't have to stress or strain or manipulate or fix everyone and everything around us. We can cling to him in faith and watch as our lives get swept up in his goodness and his greatness and his grand redemption story of which we are a little part. 